Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team making the watch list video for Thursday, March 29th. Man, I'm losing track of time. So before I begin, just going to pull up the chart of the ES or the futures here. Um, again, we, we're we all about trying to really kind of, we drill home again this message all the time. We're always trying to like really translate the message uh, to people of support and resistance, right? You'll see again, when I'm making these watch list videos, I could make them again, probably half, you know, if I'm putting out a 40 minute video, I can probably do them in 15, 20 minutes. Just put the videos up there, um, show you the, you know, hey, this is what we're looking at and uh, <clears throat> watch if this level breaks above or below and then go about my day, right? But I make these videos a lot longer and I kind of do them from start to finish because I'm trying to ingrain in your head when you see this support resistance in patterns. Uh, I try to tell people again that you can never look at too many charts, right? Because the more charts you look at, the more these patterns start to jump out at you. Uh, as I've been making these candlestick videos, again, I still have probably another 25, 30 to go, right? Another probably a couple weeks of them to put out. I've been teaching myself um, just so much uh, throughout the process as well, right? So it's very easy to kind of see like, you know, the bigger ones, cup and handles, head and shoulders, both legs, bare flags, all that good and stuff, right? But when you start seeing these like two and three uh, candlestick reversals patterns and you put them together, they really help in the bigger overall picture of things. So as I've been looking and making these videos, again, I've been teaching myself um, just even more and more and more. And guys, just like if you've been following us again, we don't we don't profess to be the best in the world and stuff. We're just creating a community. As we learn, <clears throat> we teach, we give back. Uh, we're just trying to build, again, a community of just trying to help people out with, um, you know, trading. So as we learn something, we're out and just teaching it to you, right? So I've been really just, um, just kind of like my brain has been so just like, especially the past few weeks, I've never looked at more charts in my entire life, just over the past few weeks alone, every single pattern and looking at them and seeing them. Um, and again, it's just, it's really, some of these ones I'm starting to see, like they're really starting to connect a lot more. So as I'm making these uh, <coughs> watch this videos, I'm going to start showing you guys more and more of them. Uh, as well. And you'll start to see a lot of these patterns, they happen a lot on more of the bigger companies. Uh, on the smaller caps, they have their own versions of them. But again, they pump and they dump really quick. So you have to catch them many a times before they get a quick pump. Uh, again, but it's all about scalping with these day trading or with these small caps. But on these bigger companies and the swing trades, and especially on some of the, the bigger cap companies, you really start to see um, like the reversal pattern setting up. So we've been tweaking, testing and stuff with the swing trade watch list. So you'll probably see me going back and forth with how I'm doing them. I'm trying all these different scans, doing tweaking and testing and all that. But as you can see, you know, again, all of our alerts except for one triggered off today. So uh, with just such market uncertainty, um, you know, our alerts are still going off. So uh, again, you know, we're just, as we learn, we just uh, are teaching you guys and trying to give back and just really trying to get you guys to protect your brokerage accounts, especially if you're new. So all that to basically say, um, support and resistance. It's all about support, resistance, and patterns. So if you're new, you know, we see things again in our community. We set up our community to obviously you know, have people ask questions and all that good stuff. We're always about wanting people to learn, right? But we do see a lots of newbie people all the time, all the time on a daily basis. Should I buy the stock? Should I buy Facebook because it's falling? Should I buy whatever? GE, it's at, yeah, GE is the lowest it's ever been. Should I buy it? Like, it's a good time to buy? Like, all those types of questions, right? Very understandable. We ask those same questions so many times when we are new as well. But we try to just really stress the fact that if you're new and you're asking those questions, you should not buy any stock. You shouldn't buy anything, right? If you if you do not know support and resistance and you're asking if you should buy something, you shouldn't buy it. And you shouldn't buy it until you know support and resistance. And that's what our whole essence of our community is about. We're drilling it down with everything that we do. and We're trying to teach you how to become a good trader yourself. 
and it's empowering you yourself. That's why, again, you don't see us calling out uh, when we get in and out of trades. Um, again, the easiest thing we could do is tell you when we get in a position, get you to buy the same one, pumps up the stock, we make more money, use our following to to pump and dump stocks, right? <clears throat> like pretty much all the other trading companies out there. Not putting hate on them, that's just the industry, right? But if you want to know trading, you have to know support and resistance. And we see lots of questions of, too, you know, people posting pretty much every day. Anyone know why the market's falling like this? What's happening? What's going on? Like all of those things. And if you knew charts, if you knew support and resistance, it wouldn't be surprising, right? You would have saw this fall happen. You would have seen this fall happen, right? Patterns such as this, head and shoulders pattern, double top pattern, right? Uh, you can see neckline on a double top, right? It's all support and resistance. Now, you're getting to an area now on the market where it's indecision. You see one, two, three, four... And then this is pretty wacky over here. But if you look, there wasn't a close below this 2600 mark, right? So 2600 is a very, very important level of support. <clears throat> now, you also have resistance level of 2650. So it's price is stuck right now, right in between uh, very important support and resistance level. If this 200 SMA falls, then that'll, that's not good. Look out. But it could bounce up and back down, create new patterns again. It's holding the support line. So if you're wondering, you know, what's happening in the market? Why did this happen? If you look over here, this would have told you. You have a double top pattern right here, double tops. When price can't go and break up a previous above a previous resistance level, that's a double top, thus creating a bearish pattern. So again, if you're saying to yourself, like, I don't understand what he's talking about, the good news and we say it all the time, is just go over to our website. We have $3,000 worth of courses. I say this over and over and over in every video. Train yourself. Look on them over here, and we're going to be adding our candlestick courses over here probably in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, if you go over to our YouTube channel, <clears throat> you'll see all these videos on candlesticks. This is just the first course. So you can just start at bull flags, bear, then bear flags, and you'll see. Just go in order this way, right? All the way from some first up to the latest right here. So you'll see in these ones over here, these are showing you the bigger overall patterns, the, the most obvious big ones. Then you're gonna start seeing over in here, we're gonna start drilling it down and going into <coughs> reversal patterns. So these are gonna be the patterns, the ones you're gonna start seeing moving forward that are within the bigger overall patterns, right? And you need to know all of these candlesticks if you want to be a good trader. So it's all about support and resistance. So if you don't know support and resistance, take our courses, watch our candlestick videos, so that this stuff will not be a surprise to you. So again, it's watching this stuff over and over and over again. <clears throat> right now, you can see a doji on the daily right at the 200 SMA, multiple tests of support. I don't know what the market's going to do. No one can tell you what the market's going to do. It looks like it might get another bounce up here, right? A doji is a potential reversal for a bounce, but it could fall, right? So you got to watch what the candle, what happens tomorrow. And you can see, look at, I mean, this is crazy. It's crazy choppiness right here. And so sometimes the best thing to do is to not trade at all, right? So if you don't know what to do, don't trade at all. If you don't know support and resistance, don't go asking people to tell you what stock to get in or should you buy it, uh, because that's going to be a perfect way to blow up your brokerage account, and that's what most newbies do. If you don't know support and resistance, you're going to fail as a trader. You can only get lucky for so long. So let's get into the watch list for tomorrow. Let's see if there's going to be anything good to look at. Again, when you're looking at these small cap stocks, they're going to have different charts, like, for instance... <clears throat> Look at this chart right here. I'll show you just a couple, right? Look at it. They're garbage looking charts, right? They pump and then they dump. It's really wacky. But then you look at a company, let's say Procter & Gamble. You have lots more patterns to look at. You have Cisco. Lots more patterns to look like. The stock goes up or down or trades sideways a little bit more. There's a lot more meat where you can kind of drill down and see patterns more and draw trend lines and stuff where... With these penny stocks, you're looking for you're looking to catch the pump and then get out before the dump. You're looking to scalp. So just different forms of trading. 
So these nightly scans, the one that are on the daily watch list, you're trying to scalp, make 10, 15, 20 cents, use your account as leverage, uh, and then swing trading on the bigger ones that we send out, you're looking to make ideally, you know, a dollar plus, you know, dollar, two dollars, three dollars, depending on how long you hold for. And then uh, maybe you're looking to do options. So, you know, when we send out these swing trade ones, again, you could buy shares or you can go to like an options chain up over here and then buy a call or put depending what side we're taking, you know, a look at. And then as you can see, we put notes over here for support and resistance. But don't just buy the option or just because it's on a watch list. Don't buy something because the alert uh, is on our watch list because um, you got to know your own entries and exits. So again, we have an options course on our website as well if you need more help. So let's see here. Let's see if there's going to be anything that I like to look at for tomorrow. So we're looking for stocks that are either held their highs or held their lows for either to go long or to go short. Many times it's very difficult when you get dojis on a daily. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to trade them sometimes because um, indecision, right? So sometimes when you're caught in between patterns or in a channel, um, it could be very messy. And you obviously want the market to either go up or to go down. So this one right here is holding its highs. Really overbought on the hourly. Let's see on the daily. Uh, it is overbought. It might have a good pump in it. It is above the... Um, 200 SMA, which is good. So this one, we're going to see if there's going to be some continuation. Let's look at the hourly. Yep. <clears throat> it's bullish on the hourly. It might pull back. Um, but it might have a pump in it. Might have some room to go. Let's see. Look at some peaks over here. Just below a dollar. Um, no coincidence. You can see some in here. Probably about 70 in the 70s as well. Let me go to the hourly. Eh, not that one. So, yeah, I'm going to put that one on the watch list. Again, sometimes it's very hard to get, and maybe you probably air it around 80 cents. <clears throat> so, um, sometimes it's tough to get some of these support and resistance on, you know, when you see something like, see all these wicks and they pop up like this. Sometimes it can be very difficult to judge them and they get very erratic. You can see they pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump. So this one, ideally you're trying to get the pump. This might pump and then dump, pump and dump here so that it might be over with, but it might have a little continuation in it. Gotta see the 62 uh, cent area is very important to be aware of. So this one we'll put, again, the market might have a bounce in it tomorrow with the doji gotta wait and see if it has a bounce then these have a chance to bounce um, if it crashes then you might see a lot of these dump so potential continuation with resistance around 80 cents and a dollar all right so that's here <clears throat> All right, PTOTF. Mm, nah. Hmm. That one's got some potential. Let me take a look at the hourly. Support down here. Kind of some resistance. Uh. Right at that 170 area. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the hourly. Hourly might be looking to break out. It's above the 200 SMA. That's bullish. It is overbought on the hourly, but it might pull back. It might have a run in it. So it could get a good pump. You know, it's above on the hourly. So rad Rite Aid garbage. I'd look at about a dollar. So it's above a half a dollar right now as well, which is good. Go over to the hourly. Yep, so that makes sense. So if it can break, put pump 
possible continuation with resistance around two dollars and let's see here oops now now when you do like when I put resistance areas right you're gonna have to determine your own stop losses I'm all about having tight stop losses so if price continues above close today and then it starts falling below today's close tomorrow that's potentially a very bearish sign you know so I like whole and half dollar amounts I like previous days close I like tight stop losses um, so if this goes and it breaks above let's say 170 and starts to fail below 167 then you might want to consider getting out you also want to draw trend lines as well very important you can see a trend line kind of right here so price is moving up. You can actually just even draw it along. I could even do it this way as well. Right on the hourly. Oops, not there. Again, you want to draw trend lines. If you don't know how to draw trend lines, just become a member of our community. We're only 10 bucks a month, and we teach you in our members only videos how to draw trend lines. This one's kind of close. I might just keep it at the five minute. Just because it's a little bit tighter. And right around there. So it's kind of in an uptrend. Might be trying to push out further. It's above the 200 SMA. Has room to go up to potentially... Where the heck did... Hold on. There we go. Sometimes think or swim charts reset. So that's some room up to $2, right? <clears throat> so let me just move these over. The notes... I don't know why Thinkorswim does. It annoys me that I gotta like adjust this every night. It should just have it go up automatically, but for whatever reason, it doesn't. I have to adjust it. All right, so put Rite Aid on there. What a that thing's just gotten pounded, huh? R E D. And let's see. No. Hmm. Let's broke out. Let's see. Got some resistance right at that 205 marker. It's overbought. So a lot of times when it goes towards a yearly high, if it doesn't break above the yearly high, it's a potential short, you know, so you can short it on the way down. So that's another strategy as well. You can wait for a stock to go up to resistance levels and then short it on the way back down if you can find shares to short. Uh, you can see it's a little bit more down right here, kind of in that area. But anyways, <clears throat> so this one, again, super overbought could pump up. I would look at this one as a potential short. Um, so if it might pop up, get a pop, and then come back down. So this one might be more of a short. It's kind of a little bit, I mean, it's still got, it's still got a ways that you can, you know, you can make, what is this? 173. I mean, it's a potential 20 cents to come back down. Uh, so this one, is one that is a potential short because again it might pop up to 2205 might get a short pop and then if that rejects it has a way to come back down right so with longing you want to buy low sell high so buy at support levels right sell when you get near resistance levels when you're shorting you want to sell at resistance levels and buy at support levels so if two you know let's say price goes up to 210 and then starts to fall below 205 you can potentially short below 205. Ideally, you want it to fall below $2, obviously that whole dollar amount. And then you can see these are support levels. So you'd sell high, buy low to cover. So with TST, 
It might get a pop tomorrow, but if it fails, it's got some room to fall. All right, it's very overbought. Um, hasn't really had any news either. Let me see what the weekly has been on it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that one at or below. Oops. One ninety three, let's see. <coughs> At or below. Watch if gets a pop to yearly high of two point oh five and if rejects possible short down to one seventies. All right, TST. No. Nope. Look at that, that's a mess. Look at that chart. Really pumped and then dumped today, huh? Look at that, pump, dump. All right, so SHLD, this might be one to take a look at. Let's go to the hourly. Hmm, might be popping out right now. It's overbought. Might be looking to break out. Let's see some support and resistance here. See what is this here? Three fifteen support and some up here. And where's three fifty? Basically, some at three fifty. So support and resistance levels. So it's kind of got a cup. Maybe it'll form a handle if it can break out above it. All right. So you have a cup, possible handle position. It's above or. It's above the EMAs, might pull back a little bit. Um, although, let me take a look at the daily here. Let me draw a trend line here. This might fall back a little bit. It is moving up. It's tough to see there on the daily. So if it can get above. 281, you have, where's the hourly? $3 and then 314. So those are your levels of resistance. You want to see this area here, the 285 hold, or 280, yeah, I think that was 285. So at or above 281. Potential continuation C C or resistance at three dollars, whole and half dollars. And what is that area? Three thirteen ish. And 350. What is that? Three. Yeah, 313. <clears throat> so prices in the channel, look for it to break out. If it can break, got to get above $3. If it can get above that, it's got to get above that resistance area, 313. If it can go there, then obviously be careful at 350 as well. So SHLD. Hour of daily. Um, don't like it. Hmm. Close to three fifty resistance. Uh, hmm. No. Mm. 
Oops, let me clear the drawings. There might be an evening star pattern forming. Doji above right here, all right? Let's zoom in. Look at that. No coincidence why that happened. Right? Okay, so that gap filled. Let's go back over here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there's a gap right here. All right? So that gap went up and filled. But if I zoom back over here, you can see it went, went above. It rejected. Where did it reject? Although, look, at it's got a potential inverse head and shoulders. You can see here. If it breaks $5, it's got a potential to break five. So it's got this doji above this green one. If it fails that, it's a potential evening star pattern on the way back down. Let's see if it's got a chance to go up any further. Oh, I would look at that one as a potential short, but yeah, I'm not going to put it on. You can't get any shares with Think or Swim, so I'm not going to put that one on right now. Mm, got some resistance there. 520. Starting to break down. Oof. I'm tired today, guys. Man. Been running a lot of stuff. Dan's uh, taking some time off this week. So, doing the trade rooms, the watch list, all that good stuff. Doing stuff for you guys. I'm burnt. Here we go. This one might be good. Here we go. Let's see here. It's got kind of a triangle pattern. It might be trying to break out of right here. <clears throat> so might be forming kind of a triangle. Look for it to potentially break out. I'd see some resistance right around seven bucks right there, right here. Seven dollars. It's getting above the moving average line, so it might be moving up. Let's see if I zoom in. It might be potential crossover. So six seventies. If it can break six seventy, let me see where where is that on the hourly? Right there, that's 670. So price is moving up right here into the triangle. Again, price will move up and down lots of times within the triangle. If it can break above, it can move up to potentially seven bucks. It might be trying to move up. It's still in the channel. <coughs> so you gotta watch and see. Um, again, these are those pump and dump type of stocks. So you gotta watch what they do. And let's see here on the hourly. Let me move this one down over here. Uh, move it up a little bit. Sometimes you got to kind of catch them a little bit higher. So WPG at or above 660. Watch if price can get above six six seventies with resistance around seven bucks all right so as you can see triangle pattern price gets up here it does typically reject again when it's in a triangle it can reject if it can break out of the triangle then you got to watch above over there at that seven dollar marker right probably got to catch it right above that top over here as well at 696 marker right <clears throat> so again if it could break 670s and you can make 20 or 30 cents on it that's really good on the day trade right that's what you're looking to make you'd look at you'd look totally different on a stock like this if it was a more of a, a larger cap company right but these small cap companies are just looking to use money as leverage to make 10 20 30 cents and uh if you can make more great whoa 
double bottom pattern there, huh? Hmm, let's take a look at the daily on this one. Hmm. It's got some resistance right here. That's 773. Um, let me take a look at the hourly. It's kind of got like this doubled bottom pattern, kind of, kind of like a bottom here, bottom here. You can see it's been kind of rising a little bit, right? So you could see that it's trying to poke out of this area. Man, there's like these areas of, uh, Let's see there and kind of right over here so it's struggling if it can break out of this 750s area then you've got eight dollars so if it can get above 750s then you have eight and probably 830s as resistance. So NLNK, uh, what is this here? And or above 755. Watch for continuation with resistance at 8 and 8. All right, NLNK. So as you can see, we're getting some potential bullish plays in a bearish market because uh, on the futures, it's showing a bounce. So there might be a potential bounce play for tomorrow, but don't fool yourself. It's the market's still very bearish right now. It's not proving to be bullish. So you got to play these stocks with the market. QHC, that might be good. Let's take a look at the daily. Uh, it's a little overbought. Hmm. Is there a gap on the daily there? Look at that. There is a gap that hasn't been filled. So you can see there is Man, that might be a nice short if that can uh, fail. So you see this gap over here? So if this gap, this might go up and then fill that gap. But once it fills that gap, you got to be very careful on the way down. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to put this one as a short. It's a little risky for this one to go long right now. But it's got shares to short with Think or Swim. If this goes and fills that gap, you can watch for it to find a top, look for a reversal, and short it back on the way down. Um, let me look at this over here. Uh, it's not getting a, the greatest trend line. Let me try it. That's a little better. Kind of a little bit better. Not going to get them perfect a lot. So this one still might go up. But it might get a pop right at that 970. So watch this. Uh, let's see. At or below. So watch if price pops and fills daily gap above around 970-ish. If not or fails, has lots of room to short down.
at or below QHC. QHC. All right. Where is that? So, super overextended. Go on the daily. Right over here. Very overextended. Gap. It might go up and fill if it does, and it doesn't continue for, uh, up. So, if it goes and fill, fills that gap, comes back down, and fails this 937, this could, this could give up a lot. So, Q, QHC is when I definitely want to watch this in general tomorrow. That looks really good. Again, very in a very bullish uptrend, but you got to watch. You'll see this trend channel extend forward, and you'll be able to see it in the future as it starts to fail if it fails. All right, so that's a nightly scan bullish. Let's see if there's anything that's bearish on there. <clears throat> so nightly scan bearish, and there is still there's some potential on there. Um, Look at these ones. Um, whoa, that's an ugly chart. That's weird. Huh, that's very weird. Uh, mm, I don't know if I like that one. Hmm. Very oversold, falling. Got some room to fall still. Let's go to the hourly. Um, very oversold. Pot stocks, ACBFF. <coughs> so that's got some room. Let's take a look at the hourly. Let's see here. Mm, yeah, it's got some room to fall. That's not good. ECBFF, you can see right. It's kind of a almost a descending triangle kind of pattern to it. If that falls, it could definitely fall further. You can see here. Yeah, it's uh, it's heading downwards. If seven fails. 650 area so potential short at or below seven dollars <coughs> uh, potential short with support around Six fifty and then six dollars. Six fifty and then six dollars. A C B F F. Oops. So perfect example, like you hear these people that like they pump up sectors, right? Bitcoin, you'll see it happen. Marijuana stocks, same thing, right? If something is so great and it's going to be awesome long term, it's not going to go up like this and then dump, right? You'll see these marijuana stocks, they pump and dump. Canada has been, look, it's been, look at it, it's been just being slowly pumped. Now it slowly pumps from literally it trades for what? Almost a year over an entire year from two bucks to 12 and you're like, well, that's because Canada is legalizing. It. Everybody wants it, right? Well, everybody wants it. And then what do they do? They're dumping it, right? Because very simple. Like I told you in the very beginning of the video, buy low, sell high, buy at support, sell at resistance, right? You don't see these people. Like if it's so great, why are they dumping it down? Why isn't it going from 12 to a hundred, right? Support and resistance. That's what it's all about. Not saying ECBFF can't be good long term, but as you can see, right? Trading sideways. Look, trading sideways pumped. Trading sideways pumped, dumped. Really big pump. Now it's dumping, right? Buy it, support, sell it, resistance. Very simple. Uh, let's 
kind of a little, it's getting oversold on the daily. Um, nah. Let's see here. Breaking down out of that triangle. Let me just see ones that might be easy to borrow that I can get shares to short of for you guys if there's any potential shorts. This one, there is, but it's really oversold. Hmm, BCRX. That one might be one. A little oversold on the hourly. Mm. Ah, so am I going to put this one on? Let me see here. Potentially it's got some room to fall, 478. It's had a couple or a few red days. I might not put that one on for right now. It's been selling off. It's got some room, but... No... That one's possible. This one's got some possibilities to it. Let's see here. Hourly. Kind of slant it over here. Here. If 450 fails, it is oversold. Kind of failing so um if 450 fails it can go right down to the 420s um let me see yeah so uh short at or below 456 potential Short if 450 fails, then 420s are support, then four dollars. Taho T A H O. Let's see here. Let's zoom through. Yeah, look at that. Gurn. Pump and dump. Pump, dump. Let's see here. Hmm. What's the selling? Take a look at the hourly. Yeah, it's really oversold. That one might be decent. Three twenty five. <clears throat> this one has kind of a descending triangle look to it. Uh, so you see here, lower highs rejecting. Uh, so potential short. At or below 350. Potential short with support around 325. All right, descending triangle, support line down over here, right around 325. IPI. Almost done. Let's see here. Nope. Hmm. Take a look at the hourly. Man, that's looks like it's about to fail. Really oversold. 
failing three box. Ouch. Let's see here. Failing there. Yeah, that ain't good. So if three dollars fails, there's a lot of say probably right around that two fifty marker. Could easily fall down there. Let's take a look at the hourly. Yeah, so I'll put S B on there. Potential short. So at or, or below three oh two. Potential, let's see, potential short with support around 250-ish. SB. And, hmm, that one might be one to look at too, huh? Take a look at hourly. Oh man, <clears throat> cup and handle failure right there. It's got some room to fall. It's failing right over here on the moving average lines. <coughs> so what is that down here? 270-ish. Oops. So, what is this one? 302. Potential short with support around 270s. And there you go, TRQ. So it looks like we have a bunch of potential plays on both sides. No coincidence because the market could either bounce or it could drop. Who the heck knows, right? Got to watch and see. Uh, so, again, if you're not a member of our community, come and join us on Facebook. All this good stuff over here. We have uh, lots of great mods, admins, keeping everything clean and under control. Again, <clears throat> if you're new, um, you know, we do our best to answer questions as quick as possible. We try our best to answer emails and messages. But, you know, we're obviously trying to run chat rooms and uh, answer people's questions. Again, if you're in a chat room, again, we're trying to keep the chat room about what's happening in the markets, not asking questions that you can ask in Google and research. Again, we'll try to answer your questions, um, you know, as best as we can. But that's why we have a community over here. So if you want to ask any stock market related questions, either one, Google it, or two, come over here and post and get, you know, the community to talk to you. If you don't get answers you like, feel free to shoot us an email. Um, brokerage account related questions, call your broker. Um, you know, we're not experts on all the brokerage platforms. I mean, I've made these courses on uh, Thinkorswim and Interactive Brokers probably because I called them both each hundreds of times. Is it a pain in the butt? Yes, but that's how you got to learn. You know, it's massive persistence, learning, studying, going through those things. So again, we'll do our best to help you as much as we possibly can. But in things like trade room and stuff like that, we got to keep that really as best as we can uh, to making it all about trading and not clogging up there with, you know, questions that you can get answered in the community and stuff like that. Like and follow our fan page over there. Our website, again, day trading room, swing trading room, options room. Great place to learn and practice trading. Come and join us if you haven't already. We do trade alert service. So make sure you read about our trade alerts over here if you've been watching this. Uh, our free courses, a few thousand dollars worth. We're going to be adding in a couple candlestick courses. In the meantime, we have about 25 or 30 of them already posted. I just haven't posted the course yet. <coughs> It'll be done probably soon. Um, so again, you want to, you want to learn, right? This will keep you busy for months. Save yourself a few grand, practice and learn on our website over here. And we have the links posted below, but we have trade ideas is our day trading scanner of, of choice. Awesome scanner. You get a promo code 15% off bullish bears 15. We do post our trade ideas link each day where you can, you know, watch ours. 
uh, live in practice, get comfortable with it. We recommend picking up your own copy when you can afford it. Don't just spend the money if you're not like ready yet. But when you're ready, it's always good to have your own copy because you can kind of tweak the scans to your own settings and stuff like that. Um, have your own personal one set up. So again, trade ideas, love it for uh, day trading. Market Club is one that we really love for swing trading. It has a great swing trading scanner. It's also about half the price of trade ideas. Trade Ideas is just really top-notch. You can tweak it out all it really however you would like. You can do swing trading as well in there. So it's great for both swing trading and day trading. But if you're just going to be more of a swing trader, want more of a casual trader, uh, or, you know, casual setup, Market Club is awesome for swing trading. It's about half the cost of uh, Trade Ideas, right? So we have the links below, but you can check them out on our website over here. And again, if you're not a member of our community yet, you can see here we are 10 bucks per month. We make trading affordable for everybody. So if you are on the fence, pay the 10 bucks. The worst that's going to happen is you'll lose 10 bucks, right? Last but not least, subscribe to our YouTube, click the notification bell, all of that good stuff. So that's it, guys. I am burnt. My head is burnt. And uh, now I got to go make the swing trade watch list. <laughs> So happy trading, everybody. Enjoy.